while I'm doing PLF, my boss, remember the same one who had recommended me for the other Microsoft job, mm. who has been a constant mentor for mm. me and coach in my career, who knows my every moves, who already knows that I'm planning to go to Harvard because he was my, ref he referred me. Mm. Calls me and tells me, I'm recommending you for a job. I'm just alerting you. They'll call you. <laughs> so I'm like, what job? Um, in March, in March, the results for my application come in. I open my email and it says, congratulations. <laughs> You've been accepted into Harvard Kennedy School. Yeah, wow. For your mid-career master's in public administration. And I'm like, yay. Who knew? And see this God. So then, I get, I start to wonder, have I sought you enough, God, to confidently leave work, leave the country for a year, and come back? So I was supposed to report in July of 2019. Mm. But then they gave the option and said, if you don't feel ready, you can defer to the next year. Mm. So I decided, let me defer to July of 2020 mm. and use this year now 2019, to really seek God and to get the full clearance from God. Because it's only in 2020 March, I will need to confirm that indeed, I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm. And that's how I prayerfully sought God. And with him, we had candid conversations. It was those four, my dad left employment to go pursue further things, hoping oh. for better things, but it affected the family. Is that what I am doing to the family? As in, it was real candid conversation. That is so real. Yes. It was conversations. Of course, Dolly, the voice here, she's asking me, okay, she's telling me, okay, congratulations. In fact, the results came. I was in India. I remember calling and we were screaming on phone. Um, and, and then she's asking me, can I give you some homework? I'm like, now what? She tells me, can you go really interrogate why you want to go to Harvard? I'm like, why? Because, you know, I like to do change. I like to drive change. I want to learn the best way, best, the best place. It's a global leader. Da, da, da. I'm like, I know all that. I know you. But can you really go check in your heart and tell God to reveal it? Everyone needs a dolly. <laughs> Everyone needs a dolly. She's celebrating with you, but yes. she's still telling. She can see. Yes. She knows you. She knows, and of course, I'm, I'm sharing openly what my worries are. Mm, mm. You know, like, will it affect the family? What does it mean? From a job, going back. Then she asked me, why exactly do you want to go? And she told me, you don't have to answer now. And we can answer it even as the year, because we have time. Mm. We have until March 2020. When I interrogated Richie, you know, you can't lie to God. You have a conversation. The reality is, I wanted to say, I made it. I went to have it. That was the biggest motivation. Uh, it was... Public appearance. For me. Oh, for yourself. Yes. Self-affirmation that you yes. made it. But also, at what expense? Though in it, first it was for me, which is selfish in itself, because now I have dependence. But it was also truly to increase my influence because I had now been listening to teachings and following the Bible and seeing that you needed influence to make a difference mm. in society. Mm. So it was, for, it was my way, my logical way of getting to the root of making a difference mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the country and in the continent and beyond. Yes. It was one of the ways that that it could happen. Of, for me, it was the main. It was the main. It was the main way. Okay, As yes. in, it's what logically made sense. Because mm -hmm. how else? Who else will know? How, how else will I go? Who, how many people are trying to get into some of these uh, leadership technocrat positions? I get it. You know. Then one moment we are talking. No, then pack that. So it's a continuous conversation. Mm. 
So you're still at uh, searching, as in I'm still at che uh, checkpoint. Yes, checkpoint. As as the 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 lead for all these different Correct. regions. Yes. Okay. Um, and then, I, in fact, I tell my team at the time, I'm deferring, but I will I will exit, but I'll exit to go to school. Mm. Now in checkpoint, so they knew the the ones the few who I would speak to would speak to beyond work. And then in July, from nowhere, I get offers for interview. That um, Benjamin uh, Zulu because because Zulu because Zulu. Mm -hmm. he, oh, in, in, you know you've me. been interviewed so many jobs. So I'm like <laughs> no no no. But TV uh, uh, media, media interviews. Interview. Yes. So he calls me and he tells me. I've been told you exist. I need to talk to you. We laugh. Me, I'm not ready. Then I tell him, you know, I'm traveling. I'm going to Cape Town. So I'm not available. Then he tells me, we will meet before you take your flight. Yeah. So we go sit and have the interview. That's in July. A month later, he's part of the committee that does the top 40 under 40. Mm. He calls me, he's like, how old are you again? Then he's like, okay, I want to nominate you for Top 40 Under 40. I'm 39. I ain't got him yes, there yet. I'm not there yet. <laughs> so I get into Top 40 Under 40. That's because Ulu publishes story? Yeah, yeah, he does. Okay. He before, does. before now putting you in Top 40 Under 40? Yes, he published. And what's the response with that? So, I read it and I'm like, who is this? Who is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but he caught me at a place where I was really, in that year 2019, I was really wondering of all things God has done for me, what have I done for his people? Mm. And is she goes take even enough? What have I really done? What tangible results can I show? And beyond Nathaniel, we educated one or two other people. Are those even enough? With the amount of resource, whether network or in whatever, mm. how, what more can I, as in, have I done enough? Mm. So that was really, so he's, he's trying to help me understand that I've done so much, mm. but I'm struggling because I don't see what I've done. Because remember what God has also taught me is that you wanted for yourself. He's, what he's also proved me is that you wanted a lot for yourself. You have it. Is it enough? Wow. No. So now can we go next level? Candy, you know there's a point where you stopped saying the numbers in terms of earnings and yes. figures that you had. But one thing that became clear, it's, it's growing, it's growing, mm -hmm. it's growing, it's, it's growing. growing. Like it's, it's, it's growing. It's mm -hmm. just constantly growing. Mm -hmm. So uh, my own deducing, I know it's in the millions, but this is what I want to understand. Mm. It's still not satisfying you. No, no. How is that satisfying? Whose life have I changed? When I go back to the village, the same village I ran from. Now you see I identify as a village girl. Mm. And you see why I need to identify as a village girl. So that you could be. So has it changed? It hasn't. Why has it not changed? Even now it still hasn't changed as much. But why haven't I engaged like I should? Hmm. You see that journey for him to help me understand there is more. I get it. So I did it for you, but did I do it for you for you? Mm. Or did I do it for you to multiply it? So you see, that's the journey God is taking me in 2019. So, so you are, wow. So your feeling of not doing anything is because beyond my self accomplishments. Mm. That's no longer how you measure. Yeah, yeah. You begin to realize this is not how I measure. Success. I have danced stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is not how, this is not how you measure. This is not how you exactly. That's perfect not word. success. This yeah. is not what success is for you. Yes. But you are realizing if it's building a house now, I can do it. If yeah. it's going for holidays, I can do it. Yes. The it's resources you will want. provide. You and also, what I skipped in 2018, you remember I went for the moth in 2017 for a training? Yes. Which was funded by the Gates Foundation. Mm -hmm. Then we have UNGA, the UN, UN General Assembly. Yes. The moth, because of the work I do, nominates me to speak in the UN General Assembly to global leaders about 
my story. So I have stood on a global platform. With presidents? Yes, to tell my story. Okay, 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 okay. So that story, which I think is neither here nor there. So as in it's a build up. By the time mm -hmm. God is challenging me of, have you not seen? Can't you see this is too small? Candy. Yeah. Wow. What? Those who lack want. Mm. And we always hear people say uh, there's more beyond money. Mm. But if you don't have money, you want the money. Yes. You get what I mean? And I don't discount that. But no, the money, yes. yes. It's, it's yes. a powerful tool. Yes. But what you're saying is get the tool, but the tool is not the means to the end. For no, self. It's not for self. It is. You see, it's how they say, solve a problem, the money just comes. Mm. Mm. You actually stop looking at the, the numbers. Or, or do... Go, and I don't like using the word purpose because I struggled with that for long because I wondered, what's my purpose? Because mm. that's what I was also grumbling with at that point. And it, maybe they say it's that midlife thing, your, your question and your querying, your wondering. Mm. But that was 2019. I was very clear. By the time I'm getting 2020, I need clarity of what my next 40 years look like. So the top 40, uh, under 40, do you bag it? Are yeah, you, yeah. Again, you get plastered out there. Correct. Um, and I'm wondering, God, what are you doing? Why am I suddenly on the media? And then, PLF, Purpose Leadership Forum. Just Pastor, Pastor Angie. Angie. Yes. I hear of PLF, and I felt, I, I feel led to go and do PLF. Again, to understand the integration of faith and leadership and purpose and change and, you know, that whole influence. And the strong teaching at the time is you can be a Christian, but you're an effective Christian if you're walking in influence. And so while I'm doing PLF, what God reveals to me, so meanwhile, while I'm doing PLF, my boss, remember the same one who had recommended me for the other Microsoft job, mm. who has been a constant mentor for mm. me and coach in my career, who knows my every moves, who already knows that I'm planning to go to Harvard because he was my, ref he referred me. Mm. Calls me and tells me, I'm recommending you for a job. I'm just alerting you. They'll call you. <laughs> so I'm like, what job? Then he says, me, don't worry, they'll call you. Then he sends me the link. That's the country leader role for Microsoft. So I look at it. I'm like, God, now what? You see, you, you, I was to go to Microsoft before. What has changed? And you know I'm tired of doing this same multinational. And then I'm going again to push top line and bottom line. I'm tired. <laughs> you did see that job and scream out of your mm -hmm. mind. You looked at it and you're like, uh -uh. But I was tired. But then uh, a year ago or whatever, before when the offer yes. came before, this was what you wanted. It wasn't the country manager. It was yes, a different was job. Yes, it, it was, was, a, it was but a different job. But what job. I mean is, yes, it's what I yes, brand yes. is what you wanted. Yes. So now you're seeing it and you're not at the excited. No. <laughs> I'm not excited. And also remember I've covered Africa. Yeah, yes, then this fact, one this is coming is to cover Kenya. Kenya and a bit of East Africa. So what is bigger is just that it's a bigger company. Mm. More products. Of course, a bigger brand. Yes. But when I look at it from a scope perspective, it's not much. As in, I've done this before. So I'm not necessarily super excited about it. Uh -huh. And then because I'm not excited about it, I tell God, let's get, let's now continue our journey. And I need you to give me the go ahead for Harvard. Harvard I'm excited <laughs> about. <laughs> what a story. Then, one day, uh, the day Neo, the one for Eliud Kipchoge, Yes. I think it was 12th October or yes. something like that. Uh, the, the, the day he ran under two hours. Oh, under two hours. Um, we were actually having PLF that day and we watched him. And when watching, God spoke to me. He told me, do you know how many people around the world, even you people who are here to seek me, have stopped to watch him do this and then learn from it. 
then he tells me, what I want you to learn from it is that when you are in the space I want you to be, influence is the last worries possible. Aye, 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 aye. So if you trust me, I will show you the shortest route to build your influence. To get to where you want to get to. Yes. So I trust your heart. It's like, because he has worked on me. It's like, I trust your heart. But if you trust me, I will show you. Richie, the that shortest is how route is. I signed Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Hey, guys, just let that sink in. We're coming back. We're coming back to continue this story. My God! <laughs>